What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be starting a new series on the channel where I try my best to predict the outcomes of every NFL game every week. Comment below any predictions you have. Let's start off with week 13. Hope you enjoy it. First up, we have the Bears in Detroit. Matt Stafford is doubtful, which is not good considering they are going against a strong Bears defense with a star such as Khalil Mack. The Lions must utilize Galladay as they will not have much luck running the ball. If Trubisky finds a rhythm and the Bears continue to use Tariq Cohen as much as they have, the Bears will win 24-14. Next up, Bills in Dallas. A fantastic offense in the form of Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, Amari Cooper, and Randall Cobb will be tested by the intimidating Bills defense. We cannot exclude the talent on the Bills offense with guys like Josh Allen and Frank Gore. So at the end of the day, the Bills will hold them back from scoring and win against the Cowboys 28-21. Saints and Falcons, the last matchup ended in the Falcons winning after they decided to play like an NFL team halfway through the year. Although Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, and Elvin Kamara will be ready this time, and Matt Ryan and Julio Jones will have their hands full against a strong Saints defense. The Saints will take advantage of a poor Falcons defense and win 31-24. The Browns and Steelers. This will be an interesting game simply because of the drama between these two teams in the last few weeks. Really, the only thing going for the Steelers is their defense, which does make some stops. Juju Smith-Schuster is questionable, which means they are not going to score many touchdowns. I have the Browns winning with guys like Jarvis Landry, Nick Chubb, and Baker Mayfield by 20-14. to 14. The Packers in New York. This will be an interesting game to see if the rookie Daniel Jones can use the bad Packer defense as an asset early on in the game. Time will tell if Aaron Rodgers and the Packers offense will bounce back after a humiliating loss to the 49ers. Aaron Jones will have a big game against the Giants, although Saquon Barkley could as well. I have the Packers winning 31-27. The Eagles and Dolphins. Carson Wentz, Miles Sanders, and Zach Ertz will dominate the Dolphins defense and get an early lead. Fitzpatrick will struggle against a well-performing Eagles defense. The Eagles will attack fast and end up winning 24-13. Buccaneers in Jacksonville. The Bucks will use Ronald Jones quite a lot throughout the whole game. With Foles and Winston, both teams will rely on throwing often. This means that Mike Evans and Dee Dee Westbrook will have big games. If Winston doesn't throw 92 interceptions, the Bucks will win 34-27. Titans and Colts. This game will be a battle on the ground, so Derrick Henry and Jonathan Williams will both have a great game. Jacoby Brissett and Ryan Tannehill will both have great games, but in the end, the Colts will win in a close game of 21-17. The Jets in Cincinnati. Both teams have struggled, but the Jets' defense has played well in recent weeks. Le'Veon Bell and Sam Darnold will play very well against the poor Bengals' defense. Ryan Finley will have a hard time against the Jets' defense. The Jets will win by a large amount of 34-10. Redskins and Panthers. Terry McLaurin will show up and play well, although Dwayne Haskins will struggle against a very strong Carolina pass rush. Christian McCaffrey will have yet another explosive game along with Kyle Allen as well. The Panthers will overwhelm the Redskins defense and win 27-14. The 49ers in Baltimore, easily the game of the week. This will be an absolutely amazing game since both teams excel on both sides of the ball. With the crazy talent of Jimmy Garoppolo and George Kittle, the Ravens' defense will have their hands full. The same can be said for Mark Ingram and the outstanding Lamar Jackson against the 49ers' defense. A definite shootout will happen, ending in the Ravens barely winning 31-28. Rams and Cardinals. Both teams have talent in the form of Jared Goff and Cooper Cup for the Rams and Kyler Murray and Larry Fitzgerald for the Cardinals. The inconsistent Cardinals' defense will be an issue since the Rams love the passing game. If Aaron Donald and the Rams defense steps up, the Rams will win 27-20. Chargers and Broncos. Phillip Rivers has not played well recently with seven interceptions in the last two games, which does not bode well against a very talented Broncos secondary. Both teams need to run the ball as much as they can with guys like Melvin Gordon and Phillip Lindsay. The Chargers have a much better offense, plus their defense is playing well. I have the Chargers winning 20-14. The Chiefs and Raiders. Mahomes, Hill, and Kelsey will dominate through the air. The Raiders, on the other hand, will play the ground game, so Josh Jacobs will have a big game. In the end, the Chiefs will score faster and better. The Chiefs will win 
34 to 24. New England and Houston. There is some incredible talent on both teams with Tom Brady and Julian Edelman on the Patriots and the dynamic Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins on the Texans. The Patriots will play this game on the ground against an inconsistent Texans defense and the Texans offense will have their hands full against a multi-talented Patriots defense. I have the Patriots winning in a close game of 31 to 27. Monday Night Football, the Vikings in Seattle, a very interesting matchup that will show what these teams are made of. This game will be a close, high-scoring shootout. Adam Thielen's hamstring injury is important for the outcome of this game. Cousins, Diggs, and Cook will put up huge numbers against the Seahawks defense, but the same can be said for Russell Wilson and Tyler Lockett. Both teams can run the ball efficiently. This will be a battle of the quarterbacks and will be a close game the whole time. I have the Vikings winning 37 to 31. Thank you for watching. Comment anything that you would change.